Hello everybody, it's Gary Stuckey with Real Music. I'm going to do a review of Ted Nugent's brand new album, Detroit Muscle. It was just released today. I've been listening to it and I like it. You know, not too many things I can say negative about it. I'll let you know about that. But uh, the first song, Detroit Muscle, the title track, you know, the album kicks off. You know, you got the revving motor in the background, you know, just what you'd expect to hear. It's a heavy, fast-paced song. Sounds like an old Ted Nugent song that you would, you know, hear back in the day. Uh, it's really hot, really smoking. The guitar is really smoking on this one. And uh, Ted, you know, he's screaming and, and stuff like that, you know. And uh, But the only thing is, it's too short. It's like only two minutes long. So you, just when you get into the song, it's over. So the only negative thing I can say about it is it's too short. But the song is really good guitar. But, you know, you got uh, Greg Smith on bass, Jason Hartless on drums. Uh, this is produced by the same guys that did Spear of the Wild. I mean, you know, some of the same sounds uh, in this uh, album. I can, I'll be telling you about that uh, a little bit later. But uh, the second song is... Uh, it's a single that he's released before. It's called Come and Take It. He released it a few months ago. And, you know, that's kind of Ted's motto these days, you know, Come and Take It. So it got some uh, heavy guitar riffs on there and uh, kind of a, a Billy Squire kind of sound on there. You'll see what I'm talking about. Check it out. Uh, it's a fun song, you know, another, but another short song, you know. Make them longer, Ted. Uh, the next song, I really love the guitar on this song. Uh, it's upbeat, it's bluesy, it's Born in the Motor City is the name of it, and uh, the, he's got a cool video that he released with it, and uh, I really do like it. It's, I guess it's the next single, and uh, a lot of cool guitar sounds on there, and basic Ted stuff. You know, a really good song, though. You'll love it. The next song, uh, it's another retro-sounding Ted song. Uh, it's a single that he released also earlier this year, straightforward rockin' song, Another theme type song for Ted. It's the American Campfire. I love the solo on this one. And, uh, but the song is only two and a half minutes long. I mean, it's, it's short. You get into the songs and you want more. Maybe that's the whole point. He's leaving you wanting more. Maybe that's what it is. Okay, well, the next song, probably my, well, you know, one of my favorites, I'd say. This is probably. My second favorite, but it's a really good song. It's called Driving Blind. It's bluesy. Starts off with like a ZZ Top kind of thing going on. And, uh, you know, and it's over four minutes long. So you got to say, hey, this is a great song for this album. Uh, but it's one of my favorites. And I think you'll really enjoy this one. The next song, Just Leave Me Alone. A straightforward rocker. It reminds me of Spirit of the Wild album. And uh, I love the solo, the lyrics sum up you know how ted feels about people that really get on his nerves you know these days just leave me alone he says it's a short song too but it's really good it's a really good song the next song leave the lights on now i really like this one it's a mellow song it's got cool guitar riffs it, you know in in a weird way it kind of reminds me of like van halen from ou812 for some reason but it's got a cool sound but the guitar solo is pure Ted, and this, this, yeah, the sound is just awesome on this. I just really love this song. This is probably my favorite song on the album right now. I mean, I'm, I'll probably listen to it again. Maybe it'll change, but uh, let me know. This, this is probably, yeah, this is probably my favorite song. Leave the light song. I really like it. The next song, Feedback Grindfire, and it's got a lot of feedback on this one. And it is definitely a rocker. And, uh, you know, Ted, he's really a madman on this one, you know, with the screams and things like that. Does a lot of that on this album. I think you'll have a lot of fun listening to it. You'll appreciate it. You know, you also appreciate the fact that Ted is 73 years old and he's singing like that. He's screaming. Got the crunchy guitars. It sounds great. Man, I love it. And like I said earlier, Greg Smith is doing an awesome job. And Jason Hart is on drums is just killing those drums, man. Maybe the best drummer that Ted has had in a long time. And then last but not least, the last song of the album is the National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. 
you know, not too many guitars can pull this off, you know, since Jimi Hendrix nailed it. But I love Neil Sean's version of the Star Spangled Banner. And then Ted's is just so awesome. It's powerful and it's amazing. And probably the best guitar work on this album. He just sounds great on this. So he saved the best for last. So to summarize this album, this, you know, I, it's going to have to grow on me, I'm sure. But it's up there. I would put this up there with Spirit of the Wild. This is probably one of my favorite Ted Nugent albums. Uh, I really like Love Grenade, too. So I'm going to, you know, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. How about that? And I hope all the music reviews all over give Ted a great shot, you know, because a lot of them look at his political views, you know, and they might snub him. But you got to admit, regardless of your political beliefs, that Ted rocks on this album. I really solid album a lot of cool guitars love the harmonies too so buy you a copy of this or you can check it out online on youtube but i think you're going to love this album i think it's destined to be a hit album and shemaine nugent ted's wife has already posted that this album is already number two on itunes so way to go ted and let me know what your favorite song from this album is and what you think of the whole album and subscribe to this channel and until next time, everybody, whatever you do, keep the music real.